Okay, so I'm recording this video because I'm kind of going around the houses, uh, uh, I say a bit, kind of a lot. Um, now, I've been kind of looking at CSS in JavaScript and I kind of know what benefits I want. Um, and the benefits I'm after are um, scoped styles. Um, I want tree shaking which I would probably get out of scope styles as well. Um, and uh, what's the third one? Well, that will do for the time being. Um, scope styles is really what I'm after. Um, and one thing that I know that CSS modules give me is dynamically named classes that give me that scope style kind of out of the box. Now, there's this um, very comprehensive article on CSS tricks. Um, I'm never super bought on why we need them. Um, and C CSS modules kind of get me some of the way there, but they fall down flat uh, for me uh, at this point. So uh, CSS module, I'm importing all the styles into this object. And from, from what I understand, all of the classes that are named in this uh, file are now exposed as properties in this object. And to make use of them, I need to specifically uh, include them like this. So I need to actually name the class, which is if I was going to list every single class uh, in the markup in the first place, there's no kind of big deal really, because uh, I mean, syntax is a little bit different, but otherwise it's, it's the same kind of work. Um, where it falls down for me is when I want to pull in kind of a, a another module where I know the class names um, and I want to be able to target those using the CSS, uh, but I can't seem to do that using CSS modules. Now, um, this for instance, I, let's say I've got this tabbing system um, and I want these uh, titles, the, uh, what is it, the React tab, I think it is, the classes. Um, to be monospace. Now I've achieved that using this kind of Im this import statement here, which is basically just grabbing the CSS and dumping it straight into the page, which means if I have uh, my um, tabs dot react tabs twice, then it gets styled twice, right? Because it's a global style. I want scope styles. So to get scope styles, I'm going to change this to dot module, um, rename this file to dot module, um, and it doesn't work. And the reason it doesn't work, oh, hang on, sorry, we haven't pulled this in properly. Styles from the, let's change it to uh, styles.tab. And, you know, it's rebuilt, it doesn't work. The, the tab style is applying, so this style is applying, but this one is not. And that's correct in terms of how CSS modules work for, as far as I understand is that uh, we have up here we've got the class name where I had written tabs it changes to this kind of garbled uh, text which gives us the scoped uh, the scope class but down here where I wanted to target the um, react tabs underscore tab um, it hasn't worked because, in fact, inside this style, so if we look inside this style sheet, we've got um, this is the the monospace class, and I can't I can't target other elements with classes, right? It's kind of like I need to escape this. I, I don't know. Maybe there is a way of doing that in CSS modules. I want to be able to just say take just like just garble this class and then everything inside of it should use normal CSS selectors um, and the same specificity. Um, and I don't know how to do that. I don't know if that's something that CSS modules can do. I don't know if that, in fact, I need to just kind of import it up here like I did before and not use modules. Um, but how do I ensure this is scoped properly? It doesn't seem to be. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of lost and I keep on going around in circles. 
I know there are other solutions, uh, but nothing quite matches the, this thing that I want. Um, and I can't believe that I'm so unique in wanting it that it doesn't exist. It's surely, I do feel like this seems like a, a pretty obvious pattern. It must exist, so I must be missing something. So this is my, my cry for help. Uh, if anyone out there who watches this knows what I'm looking for, please enlighten me. Thank you so much.